Hi, welcome to Vanity's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you a step-by-step -step video of sterilizing and sealing your mason jars. This has been something I've been trying to get to for a while. I have shown it in vid videos with jams and pickling, but this is on its own. This is straight from the bottles to the boiler, back to the counter. And again, many questions from people because this is something that's very important. You need to know how to sterilize and how to can properly so that the, your jams or jellies or pickles will last a long time. So let's get started. What you should be doing first before making any sort of uh, jams or jellies or pickles is sterilize your bottles. And you can sterilize any size that you would like. And I got it here from just a half a cup to a cup and a cup and a half. So I'm gonna do a variety of jars here just to show you. You'll need your jars, your lids, and your caps. That's important. You'll need a canning boiler or a deep boiler with a nice bottom that'll do a good boil for you. You need a grate or some sort of, um, I'm going to say an object, that you would put into your boiler to stop it from going to the bottom of the boiler because you don't want the bottles resting on the bottom of the boiler. So, and after that, you're going to need some water. So we'll get into the boiler and I'll show you what's next. So you will need your boiler, put it onto a medium heat, put your grate into the bottom of the boiler, pour in some warm or hot water, it doesn't matter, leave it cold and let it come to a boiling point. Pour it quarter ways up the boiler, then you're going to put your mason jars in on top of your grate. Never put it to the bottom of the boiler, like I was saying at the beginning. This prevents the bottles from cracking and it's got that heat circulation going around the bottles. And then you're going to put your lids and your caps into and around the boiler like this. And then put your cover on. After you put the lid on your boiler, you're going to let the boiling process go till it's at a boiling point. Then you're going to time it for 15 to 20 minutes, sterilizing your bottles in the boiler. And then after when that's completed, I will tell you what's next. Okay, so now I'm going to be releasing the boiler and do watch the steam. You do not want to burn yourself. And what we're going to do now, as you can see, is galloping and this been in there for 20 minutes. So we're going to carefully take our jar holder and remove each one of the bottles. So pretty much, like I was saying, you're just taking your bottles out, putting it on the towel. You continue doing this for all of your bottles and the lids being very careful you don't burn yourself. And then after you get your bottles out, take your lids out, doing the same motion. If you don't have one of these um, lid removers and bottle removers, you could use your oven mitt, you can use a towel, a cup towel. These are very hot, but turn them upside down onto your cloth and the same thing with the lids and just have the lids tilted a little bit to the side. I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll tell you the next step. So now you got your bottle sterilized. You're going to take your bottle and put it on your counter. You all and your lids and your tops. You already got whatever you're going to be making, soups, jams, jellies. You're going to scoop up what you want, put into the bottle and then once you get it to about an half inch from the top, you're going to clean off any food that's remaining around there because you don't want that to be sticking to the lid, you want it to, to seal. You're going to put your, your cap on, 
then you're going to put your lid. Screw it on tight, put it to the side. I'll do one more so that you can see. Okay, just to show you one more bottle, after you taken it from the cloth, turn it the right way, fill it up, half inch from the top, put your cap, then your lid, tighten it. So what we're going to do now is to release the cover to the boiler again. You're going to take your your food that you got in there, your bottles already re ready to go. Now you're going to seal them. You're going to put them into the same water bath that you use to sterilize. Put your bottles back in. Put the lid on and leave it there for 10 minutes on a boiling, rapid boil and then they'll be ready to take out. So after your 10 minutes is up from, stir from your canning of uh, your whatever you're making, jams, jellies or pickles, and I'm stressing that because uh, this goes, this is border for all bottling. You'll take your lid off, you'll use the can remover again, you put it onto your bottle, take it off, be very careful, put it onto your clot on the countertop at room temperature until you, you feel that the bottle is sealed. Then if the lid part don't move, you know it's sealed. But it would be sealed after you're doing this canning. But just to do the test on it, you touch the lid. And I'll show you another trick how you can check. And the other tip would be after it's at room temperature and you want it to double check, you'll take your lid off like this and you want to check your cap. And if you go like this with your cap and it don't remove, not with your finger on top, I'm just doing it because it's, I don't have it sealed right now. You go like that. If it don't remove, you know that that rubber band that's around the inside of your cap is sealed to the glass bottle. And then you'll put your lid back on. You're going to put a sticker there, put what you got in the can and date it because you want to know when you had bottled whatever it is you're bottling. So that's pretty much how you would do the sterilizing and the sealing of your mason jars. No matter what you're, you're putting inside of those jars, that is the method. So I hope you found this helpful. So thank you for joining us here at Bonita's Kitchen today. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see the link, top right hand corner. It'll prompt you to what you need to do. You can also visit me on www.bonitaskitchen.com and my Facebook page. So from our kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us once again and you have a wonderful day.